in the past, we used to have our practice or some projects public art, but I think this category is no longer actually explain what, what exactly we're doing because um, it's um, also include lots of uh, sociological research, lots of collaboration and negotiation with, uh, uh, with politicians, with um, administrators. So it's really extend curatorial practice into uh, fields that has nothing to do with art. And, um, and I also think that the expanding role of art in general, role of curators and artists also um, get into conflict with um, these uh, categories of art because artists' role nowadays changing so much and the territory of art expanding. So artists serves like social workers, that policy makers, that therapists and psychiatrists as well in their, uh, in their works and projects. So I think those categories sometimes not fully explain what artistic practice nowadays is. After actions of Vainai in 2011 and Pussy Rights case in 2012 and recent actions in public space of Pyotr Pavlensky really made uh, exhibition and public space very politically charged and sometimes dangerous for artists. And um, the narrative of underground art came about again. And I think there are a series of very interesting artistic practices that actually happening in those underground places. And I think this kind of um, actions and archives of those underground spaces should be revisited and researched because they reflect a lot on the uh, conditions of uh, Russian society and Russian politics nowadays. I think another point is that uh, Russian state institutions are not very carefully building up collections of contemporary and uh, recent Russian art. And I think it's a very ethical uh, and important question. And sometimes artists taking place as a state institution and start to research and build archives of some interesting uh, artistic groups or artists that were um, active in the uh, last uh, couple of decades. So I think that um, strategy is very very much important to revisit and research from a historical point of view and also from the point of uh, creating alternative art history nationally and internationally. It was an absolutely like great system of this um, big network of House of Cultures across the country. They really uh, present or give a possibility for people of different age and different social statuses and different education to get involved into creative, artistic, and educational practices. There is a huge network in, uh, what, which was created in Soviet time of youth clubs that uh, also offered a very big spectrum of uh, uh, various artistic and cultural activities for younger generations. And I think those um, structures uh, are still uh, important to revisit now. And actually, some artists and educational initiatives uh, incorporate into their practice those methods. Like, for instance, uh, School of Engaged Art of Studialit or this, uh, their recent, uh, recent uh, project on the Carosa. Or, for instance, what my organization, TALK, is doing. We now are very much interested in researching on youth movements uh, of history of that and current state. Because House of Cultures and networks of youth clubs is uh, our Soviet heritage, but actually it's still operating and active now in a different modes. But it's, um, it's a, some sort of a artistic and educational heritage uh, which we deal with now. And also, I think we should use it, at least um, try to um, use it more often in everyday life and connect it to, to contemporary creative practices. I think this um, 
belonging to or reflecting on very local particul particular uh, problems or social uh, social and political conditions. It's um, very relevant locally, but I think it's very relevant globally as well because uh, they the kind of artistic uh, practices they give to the rest of the world, some insights about uh, situ social and political situation in the region. I think, unfortunately, uh, varieties of Russian art practices uh, uh, presented in the international and global art scene very small. And uh, there are several reasons for that, uh, because there is no really um, a developed uh, governmental mechanism of presenting uh, active Russian artists abroad. We don't have uh, really such institutions like British Council or Goethe Institute that would really mm, try to um, uh, import uh, uh, in, uh, Russian art into um, export uh, Russian art into different countries and present it in the different forms of um, uh, art exhibition or international projects. I think that in, uh, in the field of uh, Russian art market, uh, Russian art is pretty much presented, but it's not necessarily connected to all various of practices. So there are some great uh, private initiatives, and I think galleries and uh, some private foundations doing a good job. But I think it's um, um, some alternative creative practices and some uh, recent and uh, upcoming um, creative practices and uh, young Russian artists not very presented in internationally.